Good morning. I have a lot to do today. Um, I have to go to my weekly Sam's run for work and thank God, thank God they let me buy everything online this time. But before we do that, I have four different things that I'm baking today because tomorrow we're having our little work Christmas party. So I like to bake things to give as gifts because one, there's too many people to buy for. And two, who doesn't like food as a gift? I know I love food. Anyway, I am making all Puerto Rican desserts. I am making timbleque, which is what I'm doing before I go to Sam's. And then I'm going to make little miniature tres leches and little miniature flans and maybe some sugar cookies because I always do sugar cookies. Everything I'm making is miniature, miniature. Is that a real word? Miniature? Miniature. Small. Everything I'm making is small. But I'm just gonna set these out on my tray first because tembleque is one of those things that like you gotta kinda work fast with it. Kinda. I just would rather be prepared than not prepared. Oh, I got a text that my Sam's order is ready. So we This is literally. <clears throat> Who is that? This is literally one of the easiest desserts ever. It consists of two cans of coconut milk. This kind or the Goya brand. Don't get that other stuff. The, the one in the red can, that stuff is, it's different. It's different. Then, it's a half a cup of cornstarch. You just mix that to make sure there's no lumpies. When all your lumpies are gone, you're going to put in half a cup of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. And that is it. That is it. That's all of the ingredients. Except at the end, you sprinkle it with cinnamon, only if you want to, but that's after it's like refrigerated and everything. And then you put it on medium high heat and you just stir, stir, stir until it thickens. It tastes really, really good. Unless you don't like coconut, then maybe don't make this or try it because it tastes like coconut. I mean, it's coconut milk and sugar. So she's starting to get thick. As soon as she starts to get thick, turn, turn it off. Look at that. That's what you're looking for. Maybe if I do a heaping one. So the parchment paper wasn't working out how I wanted it to. Uh, so I ended up just putting another little tin on top of the dembleke and hopefully that will keep it from getting too bad of a skin. Now it's time to make, what are we making? Flan and tres leches. Otra vez. We are starting with the flan because it's easy and I just want to. I'm gonna start by making the caramel and I'm going to not follow the recipe because my mama taught me how to make flan when I was quite young and I don't like the caramel sauce in this recipe. So I'm gonna make my own from memory. It's one ingredient, sugar. For whatever reason, when you're making flan, the rules of making the caramel sauce don't apply. I do not know why that is because my mom taught me to keep your sugar on the eye of the stove and slowly stir it around until it reaches a caramel color. 
and I have never once had sugar seize up on me. But now that I've said something, or I've never had it crystallize, I guess I should say, but now that I've said something, it's bound to happen because I jinxed it. But it's never happened to me before. But today could be the day. It's starting to get clumpy, which that has happened to me all my life every time I've made this. How pretty does that look? That looks like glitter. It worked. So now we gotta put the caramel in these little things because everything we're making is mini. Mini, mini, miniature, no, miniature. My gosh, why do I have trouble with that word? Miniature. For the next part, we're gonna do it in the blender because feeling lazy. Evaporated milk going into the blender. And now we're, I went to, I went to my spice cabinet to get vanilla and salt. Turns out I got salt and salt. So two teaspoons of vanilla. Sure. All systems go. Our mixture is ready. And it smells delicious, but don't taste it because there's raw egg in there. And my hen's eggs are non-pasteurized. I'm just gonna go for it. And if there's frothy ones, I'm just gonna eat those myself. So, okay. This is before, after. Clean hands. Next, we're gonna be making the tres leches, but I made that two days ago, so I'm not gonna video that. I'm just making them miniature. I'm just making them miniature. <laughs> 